sweet, juicy corn. Oh, that's just music to my ears and it's exciting for the taste buds as well. You know, we have two types of corn grown here in our state, field corn and sweet corn. Field corn, you see that when you're riding down the roads and, and the fields, and that's grown for animals and it's also used in ethanol production. But that's sweet, juicy corn, oh, that sweet corn. That's the one that we use for all those wonderful family meals and celebrations that you just can't wait for somebody to bring out the corn. So we're gonna make you a really special something with corn. And this is my mother's special cornbread. And it's gonna be made with a lot of Mississippi farm raised family foods that you're gonna put into it. And of course, my favorite is corn. And corn this past year, by the way, brought in $351 million in value of production to our state. So let's get to the cornbread. We're gonna see how it's really good. I'm gonna start with some cornmeal. That's self-rising cornmeal. We started with some chopped onions. And I like to chop my onions up a little bit fine. They cook really nice in there. This is some bell pepper. And this is cooked pork sausage. It's done in the natural casings uh, that I've just done and chopped up nicely. To this, we're gonna add a little bit of oil. And I'm gonna reserve just a little bit of it at the end to put over into my cast iron skillet. Because you want your skillet to be nice and hot and you want to have the oil in there that helps to make that nice brown crust that's going to be on it. Then we're going to add some eggs. And to this we're going to add some creamed corn. Top it off with a little bit of milk. And then that's buttermilk, by the way. This is stirred up, and then it gets really good. When this skillet is nice and hot, we're going to take it, and we're going to put half of the batter in there. Then we're going to take cheese and put a layer of cheese, and then pour the rest of the cornbread on the top. This is going to bake up and make a delicious treat for you. And you can find this recipe at our website, which is growingmississippi.org, because it's something that you're going to want to have all the time at your family dinners.